At new at 10, the community is coming together to help support three children now left without a mother or their father. Their mother, Mary Lou Rodriguez, was murdered and her husband, who was accused of killing her, is now dead after killing himself inside the Bear County Jail. Eyewitness News reporter Roxy Bustamante is live on the northwest side with more on how the community is stepping up to help. Roxy. Phil, the community is fundraising to help Mary lose three children. Now they've been staying with family for the past couple of weeks, but now they have to start the adoption process. The family is hoping they can keep them all together. He you was know, a beautiful person, full of life. Daniel Rodriguez remembering his sister, Mary Lou, who was always giving to others. She never said no to anybody. Anybody needed help, she was always there. Mary Lou Rodriguez was found in Lampasas County last week. Police say her husband, Enrique Perez, admitted to strangling and killing her after an argument. Deputies say Perez took his own life while in jail, charged for her murder. Mary Lou's family says she never reported the abuse to police because she feared for her life. Uh, hopefully they learn something from this because my sister was a victim of domestic violence. Now the community rallying around her family to help her three children, ages five, seven, and nine. They really heard uh, the next step for them. It's, uh, we're going through the adoption process. You know, I'm also panicked about the legacy that we're leaving for our kids. That living your life at the end of a fist is normal. It's unacceptable. That's it's unacceptable. Patricia Castillo, co-founder of Peace Initiative, says she started the nonprofit nearly 30 years ago to help end the domestic violence issue in Bear County. People are ashamed. There's a lot of vergüenza, you know, to bring this up and to talk about it and to seek help. And um, we got to get rid of that. Castillo and her crew standing just down the street from Rodriguez's home this week. She says they are the voice for the 23 people killed due to domestic violence incidents this year. We lack information in terms of the damage that this type of violence does to our families. We lack information in terms of resources. The nonprofit pushing to get the community and lawmakers sitting at the same table to bring stricter punishment for alleged abusers and to help victims like Mary Lou Rodriguez and her family. I hope that the you know women going through domestic violence and you know speak up. You know, there's a lot of help out there for them. Now, Mary Lou's brother says the three children have a long journey ahead of them. If you would like to help them and their family, you can find more on our website, kens5.com. Reporting live, Roxy Bustamante, Kens 5 Eyewitness News.